Hello everyone, I'm Kibitz, and welcome back to Infrastructure in Space. 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 Also known as Infraspace, where we're mining and making appliances, and trying to harvest resources from all corners of the globe. That's kind of what we're up to last time, because we can just put renewable power literally anywhere, then we can build factories anywhere, so why not just harvest the world immediately? Well, because you're going to get bottlenecked by workers at the end of the day, so that's a bit of a tiny problem. Which I've thought of a solution for. And if you're excited for that, remember to leave a like. But what's the solution? It's super highways with a dash of trains. My grand plan here is to set up a train system that goes all around the world and super highways. So everything is pretty much in reach for when we actually need it. And everything will end up eventually going back here for the homes. And also critically, the science. We have a little science hub here, but oh man, science is gonna get crazy in this game. We're only kind of started phase two. There's gonna be a phase three and four. So you better believe things are gonna scale out of control. So to begin, we are going to set up our science super center where all of the research in the world is gonna be done. And I do mean super center. Like this entire half of the main desert here, all of this is gonna be science and then all of this is gonna be housing. So with this insanity scale in mind, I have a pretty simple solution that should handle it all. First up, we're gonna have, of course, all of the blue science down here. And we'll have, I don't know, X amount of rows of blue science. Oh, and then you know what I was gonna do? I was just gonna have a system of one-way roads so all of the science would feed kind of up a chain up until we got to red science. But I forgot a big aspect of this game are the bonuses. Because if we have the green science right next to all the blue science, things are better. Okay, that changes things. I'm gonna have to rethink my strategy. Okay, and now I think I got it a bit better thought out. So we want the bonuses, so we want all levels of science very close together in one kind of mini block here. So the blue science, easy enough. Green science needs three of these blue factories, all right? So we have seven of them because there's the bonuses, I wanted a little extra blue science. And that'll run two green factories. The two green factories will run two yellow science factories in the future, which we'll have in the middle. And then the two yellow science factories will run a red one over here. And we have a little bit of extra space as well in case we need to do some road craziness. So that's the general block. Next, we need every resource in the world to easily get in and out of here. And that's where things get a little crazy. I, I'm pretty sure though. Yes, we can. We can make elevated roads. Extremely elevated roads. And we got one-way roads as well last time. So it's time for some city skylines magic. Now I think we got ourselves a system. It seems pretty straightforward. Just a main road where Mainly it's just going to be iron ore and carbon coming in. Then everything else for the other labs will go up these one ways and then go into the other labs. Pretend these blue ones are yellow and this one's a red science. Then everything ends up at the lab. And then all the blue science can either go around this way or it can go around this way to the green labs. And that is like a block of the system. Everything ends up at the end of the line. We got a power rate there and boom, science. Admittedly, this little interchange we have down here is kind of giving me nightmares, but generally speaking, it should work out. So YOLO, let's fully scale it. So now we got 10 copies of this system up and ready to go. And a big thing I forgot to mention, keep in mind, is that the vehicles never have to leave. They go from wherever they're at to their destination, turn into another vehicle, destination, and everything ends up at the science lab, and then the vehicles disappear. So it doesn't need to be a way out only ways in and that makes life a lot easier only problem is we just can't predict the future and i'm a little scared of how big some of these future buildings are gonna be like large buildings is a whole tech on its own it's like oh no stadiums food processing and through here i was looking at some of the different factories it's like bruh high-tech workshop ai unit control factory like these buildings are huge i'm gonna be a little cautious with our space and leave that for now with it built, let's get into the new stuff. Let's get the highways researched, trains. Oh, you better believe it. And large buildings, sure, why not? 
Ah, and here we go again with those jabs. When we have 1,200 people, we need 1,500? So be it. We shall expand again and build more worker habitats. Ooh, you know, I have just come to realize we're probably gonna have a problem here. All of these houses are eventually gonna want a variety of different resources so they can all be leveled up to level five. And that means we're gonna have traffic coming in from all directions going everywhere. And I was just kind of gritting this whole thing out and just whatever, expand forever. Well, that's gonna cause a disaster quickly. I'm just kind of thinking of what we can do for highways to prevent traffic from getting too bad in here. And I'm thinking we're gonna do <laughs> the London plan. Or the Amsterdam plan. Actually, I think a lot of cities in Europe did this. Uh, essentially, we got highways, and we're going to just build rings around the city. Like a highway ring. So the people in the city do whatever they want to do, and then the factories can scoop products in or out. And this should be pretty good. Maybe. I have a feeling <laughs> that I'm forgetting something about this ringed city idea. But we're gonna try it out. Why not, right? It's okay to make mistakes. And also, it's okay to make curves. Thank you guys in the comments for letting me know curves exist in this game too. It's quite nice. How do you make them properly though? I'm trying to think like city skylines, how do we make like a perfect 90 degree angle, but I don't think we can. We probably can. Actually, comments, help me again, please. <laughs> I want everything to be perfect. We can figure that out later. For now, this is good. Gonna have a lot of housing, so may as well use up a ton of space. And this will go to the science area too. Everything will be connected together eventually. Or should I say, assimilated into our production lines. But there we go. That's our city's main perimeter road. That is now perfect. Oh, and look at this. We get three lane, one way direction highways later on. Mm, that's gonna be cool. We'll probably double up this perimeter then. So I'm just kind of looking through here. Be nice if we had a central kind of speedway too. Oh, but those don't count as roads. What, there's walls? What, is this a safe society? Psh, why do we care about that? Foolish. Waste of resources. Oh, that road's a little too thick. Ah, let's see here. I would kind of like a highway scooting through this entire area. Do we have a raised highway go through here? <laughs> but just big general concept stuff for now. And more houses. Oh, and apparently parks. The large buildings research has a, something in it. Park, two, what is that, flowers? Who wants flowers? Do we need flowers? We need computers. Oh, and we need parks. Oh. Well, I've just been setting up the grid for the whole city, so this is good to have. So we need two things. Computers, I don't know if we'll get to today. We're gonna need this for sure. Then later on, we have to have a stadium and schools. Lame. Let's get the parks in. They're huge! Buddy, that's actually, wait a second. Is that literally perfect? Everything predetermined? And, yep, yeah, no, everything's actually perfect. I, I knew, I knew this would work. Wait, how many parks are we supposed to make? They make a unit of item, the two flowery things. What? How do you deliver the park? The, the park is delivered to the, the people? <laughs> what? How? Okay, this is weird. Let's see, where, where do we need to be? At 72. Right now we have 37.5 park per minute. <laughs> okay, sure, sure, sure. That's okay. We can make more parks per minute. I like this. I love making everything a statistic. This is the way to be. Oh, 75 park per minute. Very good. Uh, clearly we're gonna need a lot more, but I'll keep them in mind as we scale up further. Oh, <laughs> and it looks like people want oxygen as well. Don't worry, don't worry. I, I, I got you guys covered. Very, very caring overlord. Giving you free oxygen. Well, not exactly free, just the price of their eternal servitude. Well, that's pretty much a steal. Hmm, but karma's almost got me. I've realized I was being a little mean to future kids. We know we're gonna have a one-way superhighway going in both directions, so I just added the extra ring in now. We know it's gonna happen. And also, yeah, I guess we should get the highways going into this district area, because these guys are getting angry. Somehow they're breaking their appliances. Just don't break the home appliances, then the number won't go down. Like, what are they doing? Anyway, it has forced my hand. We're gonna have to have some kind of interchange going through here. And since we're gonna be having all of our science over there, we're just going to get rid of all this. 
And our starter concrete factory as well. And we just have to straight up city skylines this jazz. Uh, this is gonna be a little difficult. Um, I guess something like this, then over that way. <gasps> oh, but wait, I just realized the best thing in the world. The vehicles don't ever have to leave the city. Once things go into the building, like say a home appliance thing goes into a house, it's there forever. So our main city is effectively just a black hole void of resources. This is the best, because now all we do is that. We connect A to B and C to D. We're done, that's all we have to do. And I had the foresight to leave just this little bit of space because I knew we'd have to do stuff like this, but I never expected it to be this easy. This is the cat's pajamas. So I just gotta align things and do that in every direction. Oh, and I suppose hope and pray that this never gets updated so vehicles actually need to leave and go back to factories. Like, you know, other games. Because <laughs> if that happens, we're doomed. You know, things are so straightforward, in fact, I, I have a brand new idea. So we have the two rings on the outside, right? And that's just so industry vehicles and science vehicles can get to where they need to be and ignore all of this. But why not have an elevated inner ring as well? Huh? Huh? So there will only be one-way roads to get into this inner ring, so it will only be used by the vehicles that need it. And it will give them the versatility they need to do whatever they want. Plus the added bonus of blocking out sunlight to all the citizens. Hooray! And now we've done it! This is perfect. This is more than perfect. This is better than perfect. This is like perfectly expandable. It's simple. Oh, I really just hope it works. Wait! Wait a second. Wait a second. How do people get across the highway? Okay, this is definitely a bad idea. We should probably make it like an interchange, but for now, we're just gonna have weird little crossings like this. Just, there's no car accidents in the game. It, it, it'll be fine, totally fine. I suppose there is gonna be the problem where vehicles are just gonna scoot through into here. Uh, we could get rid of this. Yeah, let's get rid of that. Let's get rid of this. Now the only way is into the city proper is via the goofy interchanges, yes? Yes! Okay, now we're gonna unpause and everything's gonna work. Nothing's gonna collapse. Okay, the vehicles are still going this way. Huh? Ooh, bud, that's fast. Good, good. I wonder if I have the directions right, I don't know. It seems to be fine. Is this system better than just having the vehicles go in all willy-nilly? Yeah, 100%. The super grid provides. Uh-oh. Nope. They're already mad. But wait, there's the truck right there! Where are you going?! Fool! Why you gotta be like that? You have like a little exit here. It's fine. Stuff's getting delivered. Good. Now they're happy. Are we doing it? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Habitat upgrading. Good. Maybe uh, destroying all the roads despawned all the vehicles. Maybe that caused a problem. Let's go into high speed here. It's looking very good. People coming in. They're happy. Exit over here so vehicles are coming through this way. Good. Scoot there, one way, and out this way. Yes, we are doing it. Almost out of home appliances. Where's the truck? Seriously, where's the truck? Maybe we should, ha oh, well, it doesn't really matter. Well, there's the truck, number one, but it doesn't matter because what I can just do is add in another highway exit. I can just add them in everywhere, at any time. Because yeah, that truck just disappeared. It's gone, lost to the void. Let me just add in another exit. And we just keep doing that wherever we see problems, which is like, everywhere right now. No, oh, it downgraded! Oh, it doesn't have a road. How do you not have a road? It's right there. I can see you clearly connected. Bruh. 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 You gonna play this game? You know what? No, we're not. You're gone. What can we put in your place? Oxygen? No. Another house? No. Foo! We're gonna put foo there. You're right on. That's great. And you know, it might not be running quote-unquote perfectly right now, but we only have one little furniture factory over here. We can add in more home appliance areas all over the place. And we can get trains. Oh boy. I just remembered we unlocked them. Choo. Choo. Oh, this is gonna be good. This is going to be good. Main train station. It's huge. Can we build multiple? <laughs> we can build multiple main train stations. You gotta love it. How do we wanna go about this then? What are the houses gonna want? How many levels of housing are there? It's level six. Okay, we're gonna need trains everywhere. But I just did all the highway stuff. <laughs> I don't wanna dive too deep into the train game. Not yet. And 100% next time we'll mess around with that a ton. 
It's just we never tested our whole science lab over here, and now that we deleted all the other science stuff, it's time to see it come to life. We're just gonna do this. I know it's not the best. We can make interchanges, da da da. It's fine. It's a test run. Let's get this over here. Give it the power. Excuse me? Oh, the power. Hello? Oh, it's good, it's good, it's good. And here comes the swarm. Feed the system. Feed it! I think that's- just, oh my gosh, that's just all the CO2 that was building up. Oh, that is cool, man. That is cool. I suppose- okay, maybe- hmm. Part of me is like, hey, we should add in a highway for vehicles to leave the inner city. But later on, we're gonna get a oxygen-only maker, and we'll have carbon-making machines elsewhere. That's all these guys want. They just want the carbon, mainly. So we're gonna call that a non-issue. And we'll stare at this for five seconds to see what happens. Actually, wait, why would we stare? Why don't we research something? Aluminum? Motors? Large mines! I like that. Let's get motors and that figured out. Let's see. Need sulfur. Sure, let's just reactivate this node here. And off they go. Oh my gosh. To the greatest traffic jam I've ever seen in this game yet. It's so organized though. You have all the carbon on the right, you got all the sulfur on the left. It's, it's great. Got these vehicles trying to enter two. I, I suppose we might need to build like a roundabout or something here. Yep, yeah, uh, certainly. Yeah. Or we can just be a little bit better with the roads and have that go through. Stops that interchange from being super busy and then just makes this interchange super busy, which is better. <laughs> totally, right? Okay, this is good. Production overview thing. Wow, we need a lot more iron. Oh, makes sense. We have all these factories running. That's okay. We don't need all the blue science in the universe. In fact, we can turn this down, right? Yeah, let's turn that down to like 50%. And yeah, after that, just looking over things, it's not bad. It's not bad. Things are working out quite well. The traffic isn't even the worst. And I think our main issue is just we are not getting enough resources, which is always simple to do. Look, there's iron right there. Boom, bada, bing. So science looking good, city's looking good, and I think this episode's looking good. So we're gonna call it here. So have a fantastic rest of your day, and bye bye